In this video, I'm talking about the rapid advancements that we're seeing in today's hearing aid technology. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. You know that saying, if you don't like the weather in New England, wait five minutes? Well, you could probably say the same thing about the hearing aid industry, because if there's not a hearing aid out there right now that meets your needs, wait five minutes and there's probably a group of engineers out there who are creating the next latest and greatest thing. Now, I'm a relatively young audiologist, but I cannot imagine what audiologists 20 to 30 years my senior are thinking about the hearing aid capabilities today versus when they first got into the industry. That being said, if we rewind significantly earlier in time than that, we'll see that the first type of hearing aids that actually existed were ear trumpets. It took centuries for us to go from a hollowed out buffalo horn to a hearing aid that would fit behind an ear and do nothing other than make all sounds louder. But since 1996 and the invention of digital hearing aids, we have seen an increased capability of engineers to accelerate how quickly they can incorporate new and improved technology into hearing aids. In 2014, we saw the release of made-for-iPhone hearing aids that could connect directly to an iPhone and stream that audio into your hearing devices. And then in 2018, Phonak, today's video sponsor, finally developed a hearing aid that could connect to any phone so you could stream audio into both of your ears, and that is with the Phonak Audeo Marvel line of devices. But they didn't stop there. Less than a year from their original launch, Phonak is making the Marvel hearing aids even better with the release of Marvel 2.0. You see, like I mentioned before, new technology is being created all the time and new hearing aids are being created all the time. But wouldn't it be better if you could actually take the hearing aid that you already have and improve upon it? Well, that is exactly what Phonak is doing with their Marvel devices. On August 19th of 2019, Phonak is going to be rolling out their new My Phonak app, which is going to allow you to do a bunch of different things with your Marvel hearing aids that you haven't been able to do before. The new MyPhoneAc app is going to have more functionality. They're basically combining the MyPhoneAc app with the remote app, but you're going to be able to do more things with it. You're going to be able to make adjustments to the bass, the mids, and the treble. You're going to be able to adjust the volume still. You're going to be able to make noise reduction and speech focus adjustments and also adjust the dynamics of the hearing aid. You're then going to be able to save those adjustments as a personalized program so you can go back and use it whenever you want. And you know how you can only connect to one Bluetooth device at a time? Well, with Marvel 2.0, you can now connect with two different Bluetooth devices. So you don't have to make a decision on which device is your favorite. You can connect to your phone, your tablet, or whatever else you want to at the same time. And did I mention that Phonak is now making custom embedded ear molds out of titanium instead of just acrylic? Check these things out. You can see the differences between titanium and acrylic. With acrylic, they have to be a little bit larger because they cannot make acrylic as thin as titanium. Titanium can be about 50% thinner than acrylic and still be 15 times stronger. This way you can have an earpiece that is significantly smaller than you could with an acrylic. And I'm going to go ahead and put them in so you can see the difference. Now, I'm still a huge fan of the acrylic embedded ear molds. But the titanium just allows you to have an ear mold that is significantly stronger and significantly smaller. So that will give you some perspective of what it looks like inside of my ear versus using the acrylic one. Not bad if you ask me. Roger Direct will also be made available with Marvel 2.0. So whether you got your Marvel hearing aids back when they first released them, or whether you got your Marvel hearing aids right now, you're going to be able to have your hearing care professional install the Roger Direct receivers inside of your devices, so you can then use them to connect with any of the Roger accessories that are available. These devices let you stream audio directly from the person that you want to hear into your hearing aid so you can significantly hear them better in a background noise situation. And there's research that shows that it's up to 62% better without having to wear anything around your neck. And as promised, Phonak is completing the rollout of the remaining device that they have in their Marvel lineup, which is the Phonak Audeo MRT, which is the rechargeable telecoil version of their Marvel hearing aid. This is something that a lot of people have been waiting for. The MRT is going to allow you to directly connect into a hearing loop that is installed inside of several different types of public facilities. So all you have to do is check and see if the public venue that you're going to be going to, like a theater or a church, has a sign like this. If if it does, you're going to be able to use this rechargeable hearing aid to tap directly into that audio so you can hear significantly better in that public venue. 
A telecoil can also help you hear significantly better on a telephone. So not only can you directly connect with a smartphone and stream that audio directly into your hearing aids, you can also go and use it with a landline phone as long as you have that telecoil enabled. But Phonak is also bringing their Marvel technology into other form factors. So if you're the type of individual who cannot wear a receiver in the canal device, you can now get a Bolero BTE hearing aid that uses a tube and an ear mold. Now the kids are also gonna love this too because Marvel technology is also making its way into the Skyline of devices. Now individuals who cannot wear receiver in the canal hearing aids and children who want to get the benefits of Marvel technology don't have to miss out on all the fun. With all the crazy advancements in technology that we've had over the years, I just wish I could go back in time and talk to the original inventors of hearing aids to tell them that hearing aids of today are basically invisible, that you can stream audio directly from a telephone into your ears without using your hands, and you can use that same telephone to make remote control adjustments to your hearing devices. They probably would have looked at me like I'm crazy. But then I was thinking about, well, if I went back like 20 years and told them the same exact stuff, they probably would have looked at me like I was crazy as well. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.